Um, well, we had proposed a, a new domestic Super Rugby competition to start on the 3rd of April, uh, but as of this morning that uh, the competition has now been suspended until at least the 1st of May. And also we'll be suspending all training here at uh, Rugby's HQ from tomorrow for a two week period. It's very difficult, it's, um, as I said, it's evolving you know, day by day, hour by hour, um, but it's no different than anyone else out there in society, um, you know, messages from government and the health authorities that are changing as people learn more about this and what should be done. Um, but we're, we're doing our best to, to plan uh, with Rugby Australia and the other Super Rugby teams how we, we cope with the situation at the moment. They'll, they'll have their own little training programs to do as best they can, a bit of old school stuff. There's a, there's a hill run up it type thing, uh, there's an oval. Um, it won't be as sophisticated as going to gyms and doing all that sort of work, but um, it's another challenge that we've faced during the course of the season. We've had plenty of them this year. And you know the players have. Uh, I spoke to them this morning, and they'll they'll embrace the next two weeks and uh, and try and get better each day. Yeah, it's, it's hard for everyone. The team is going well. They're enjoying the rugby they were playing. I think people are enjoying watching the the, the style of rugby the team is playing. So they were on a bit of a high, um, but we can't do anything about this situation. You know, we just have to deal with it as best we can. Um, the players will stay focused, um, keep their mind on the, on the job, and. And you know they want to get out there and play football. We want to get, we want to watch them play footy again. So we're doing all, everything we can to make sure that happens at some stage.